Hey there, Taurus. What's up? <laughs> it's your girl, Raven. You know, the triple P, the rainbow bright. How you guys doing this morning? I certainly hope you guys are doing good because I am. And so is my dog, Odin. We're chilling. You know, it's really early. So I thought I'd get some readings done, you know? Um, I want to explain my absence, okay? I had to take some days off so I could reflect and meditate. You know, all that good stuff ground myself, you know, for the channel. You know, I'm a part of the collective like you guys, and, you know, I got things I got to do myself, you feel me? So, thank you so much for hanging in there with me, <clears throat> and all the love and support, I appreciate it. I um, also want to explain about the reading, okay? In case you ain't figured it out by the title, this is for Taurus, okay? But here's the deal. You may not even be a Taurus. You could just have Taurus somewhere in your chart or something like that, and therefore the messages I read for you can resonate for you a little bit, or maybe even a lot. But either way, I just want for you to please take what resonates, Taurus. Leave out what does not, and by all means, please enjoy the reading and thank you guys so much for all the love and that support please continue to like comment and subscribe i mean like comment share subscribe you know take the video take take the message <laughs> okay all right so y'all know me i stumble with my words let me get started here taurus okay holy spirit please show me what's going on here for my lovely collective taurus energies please tune me into their frequency what's going on here for taurus okay taurus <clears throat> sorry my eyes are watering so maybe some sadness i don't know um all right let's see let's see what's going on taurus okay somebody cannot stop thinking of you someone's astral projecting somebody might be missing you what else here for taurus holy spirit We have Odin's room, Fehu, which means wealth, luck, and new beginnings. Okay, so it could be some new beginnings. He or she is using you, man. Okay. Interfering parties may be involved here, Taurus. Let's keep going. What else here for Taurus? <clears throat> Ooh. My condolences. I don't know what y'all doing, what y'all own. <laughs> but yeah, somebody may be rest in peace. Uh, made fun of how you dress, but was seen the next day wearing the same thing. They're just, you have a secret fan. Somebody's jocking your style, <laughs> but they can't do it like you tours. I know they can't. What else here? Holy spirit. Uh, you may be dealing with a tarot reader hater. Uh, someone doesn't like readings. Okay. I mean, so each your own, but somebody could be just hating on a particular reader or a reading. I don't know. What else here? Holy spirit. Okay, he or she is always comparing you to their ex, which causes conflicts and arguments, which is frustrating. Um, somebody didn't see this coming and they are scared and loyalty. Okay, so something to do with some loyalty. Okay, let's get into it. All right, Taurus, let's see what's up. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is some new beginnings that's coming here. So new beginnings are here. Someone here could be spying on you, astral projecting, maybe because you have new beginnings coming. This is somebody who secretly jocks your style, um, tries to be like you in a sense, or they, or they, or they just admire you or something like that. Somebody's getting used though. Okay, let me sort these. Put these over here for now. Okay, let's see <clears throat> who's using who. Okay, Taurus, he or she is using you, man. Okay. I'm going to use my what's the vibe cards. Let's see what the vibe is. And then I'm going to get into some um, other cards. Holy Spirit for my lovely Taurus energies. What's the he or she is using you, man? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, Taurus. You could be an established person, okay? Settled, secure, wealthy, okay? Someone is just with you. This is a gold digger. 
You know, you're dealing with someone who's uh, um, worried about the almighty dollar when it comes to you or your connection. This could be someone in your family, someone you have blood ties with, or someone in your inner circle. Someone in your inner circle of family may have a, something that's going on a down low, a love affair, dirty little secret sex fix down low. So someone here could be just be uh, someone here could be just in a relationship with someone for the money. And maybe on the low, they got like a little side piece action going on. No. Someone here is having an epiphany, though, about someone's uh, bad choices or mind games that somebody was playing. We got consequences and epiphany. So someone here is starting to, have, uh, starting to realize that somebody's playing games. Like somebody's about to be called out. <laughs> yeah, somebody did too much with the drowning card here at the bottom. Yeah, somebody's going to get called out for doing something foolish here. Um, let me keep going here. What else here? Holy Spirit for Taurus. Ooh. I'm telling you, accident, danger, caution, injury. Someone here is needs to be you need to be cautious of. Someone here could be a danger to your inner peace. We have accident and calm. Let me see what else. What else? Confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. Someone feels like they're not free. Someone's stuck up in their head about something or somebody wants to trap you because you're established. Yeah, because they want to celebrate off of your coins, indulgence, interaction, joy, friendliness. Hold on. What's the confinement about? Someone's a, someone wants you to stay stuck in your comfort zone, Taurus. We got sweet dream and family. Like someone, and then the commitment cards at the bottom. See, like someone trying to keep old man stuck. You know, you you do stuck with strings or something like that. Um, somebody wants you stuck in a commitment. They want you stuck to them because they feel you are the money bag. Someone wants you to stay in your comfort zone when it comes to your family. You know, where you're satisfied. You know, like someone wants you to. Someone here could be like. Bringing like could be like oh yeah you know you know the family loves you we need you this is that another not saying that family does not need you but it's really it's they're not saying it with sincerity they're just saying it with the goal of keeping you stuck there so that they could keep siphoning um, your abundance or something here what else Yeah, I'm telling you, luck, jackpot, fortune, reward, and in evidence, proof. Like, someone here may have found out somehow. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Taurus. Someone may have found out somehow that you have some sort of jackpot coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, or they just know that you're just an abundant person. You know, that you got the coins coming to you. What's the consequences about? reservation desire worth extravagance okay what's the reservation with the consequences someone here they love to play games they love to make bad choices yeah they're doing too much gluttony greed craving exceed someone's facing the consequences because they were just doing too much to try to get what they want someone here was just greedy and just you know i like all they want is just material stuff like someone here could be like really greedy over a car or making someone buy them a car or something like that but this is someone who just, you know, yeah. <laughs> What's the love affair about? Right. Ceremony, mystery, magic. Now, let me say this with the love affair card. It also says dirty little secret, sex fix, or down low. So some, it doesn't have to be a love affair toys. It could be that somebody's doing something on the low regarding magic or surrounding something mysterious or some sort of ceremony or rite. Someone's doing something. Somebody's doing something crazy like that on the low. What's the right about? Calm, inner peace, simplicity, meditation. Huh, hold on. What else? <clears throat> Merit making goodness, humanist morality. And what else? Imagination. Hold on, let me take this in for a second, Taurus.
somebody's pocket watching somebody. Hold on. We got the sneak peek card here. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody's doing something really weird on the low. Someone here may be using divination or magic to watch somebody who's just chilling, minding your own business. Like, this could be a good person. Like, with the merit making card here, this could be somebody who's very, you know, nice, wise, you know, like a mentor, wise leader, something like that to be someone to be looked upon. You feel me? Uh, a role model type individual, a light worker, earth angel style energy here. Somebody here um, can be plot. I mean, doing something like watching them on the low. Damn. I can't. Yo, what is this? <clears throat> Taurus. Yeah, somebody's like, why? somebody's on the low watching. To, they're pocket watching. They're seeing what somebody's got coming in. We got real estate and we got sweetheart. Like someone's watching to see what unconditional love you got coming in. Like what wealth, what project you got coming in. Your coins, your stability. Someone could be getting a new home. Someone could be moving in with somebody. Like somebody's watching. We got the curse card here. Someone here could have been throwing magic, throwing, I mean, or just hating because this is like a misfortune card. It doesn't have to be an actual curse. But someone here could be creating misfortune here for your new beginning. Someone knows that when you move on from them, you're going to have abundant, new, rich beginning. And they are watching because they want to know what the hell is going on here. Libation, donation, pray, religion. They want to see what you got coming on, going here. Someone wants to know how you're doing it too. How you're, you know, who are you praying to? Who are you giving libations to, to get this? Somebody is doing, somebody's like stalking somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, using a 5D on a low. I kind of feel that energy, Taurus. So, I mean, with the aim to just keep somebody stuck. Yeah, this is definitely a greedy ass energy here. You may be having an epiphany about this, getting some self-reflection, answer questions or untapped talent. Yeah, you might have an epiphany. Somebody's doing something unfair or sneaky here with the robbery card. I'm not lying, Taurus. This could some. It's a, ugh, this could be someone who feels like they're at a loss. They're in sorrow. What's the robbery about? Something unknown. I'm telling you, something unknown was going on here. We got the blind card. Live and learn, which is like learning something or, or, you know, learning a lesson or learning some information, something like that. And then the loneliness card here is dullness, disappointment, isolation. What you were not able to see here, Taurus, is that somebody here was like, you're about to, you're about to have an epiphany as to what somebody was doing. You're about to learn, you know, what someone was doing because they were isolated or felt left out or alone with the uh, loneliness card to stop you or block you they're going to stop again like you're really about to find this shit out let me keep going here jeez horse <clears throat> some people just can't stand to see you win can they all right um do, 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 do. let's see let's say the best for last yeah, let me go with that too. Let's see who's astral projecting. I'm now. I just said it. Somebody's doing something mysterious here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna draw back these magic cards because I bet you. Yes, yeah, only one. Okay, I'm gonna draw these back because I bet you it's gonna come flying back out again. But somebody here was like astral projecting to like watch you on the 5D to see what you got going on. They may have been using tarot, <clears throat> psychics, you know, whatever. You know, just you don't know. They someone here could be very spiritually talented here. Hold on. I'm going to try to shuffle these up really well before I get started. Somebody here is doing something, though. Holy Spirit, what's the vibe around the astral projecting energy here for Taurus, please? Damn, y'all see that? Waves, emotions, worry, fear. Yeah, someone's, I'm telling you, somebody's project, I mean, actually projecting to you, Taurus. Maybe in your dream state, um, I don't know. It depends on their skill level. And I mean, some people actually project without even knowing they're doing it. They don't even understand that's a spiritual gift. They just go to bed at night and the next thing you know, they're in somebody else's shit. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm just saying someone here may have mastered that skill. They know how to do it now and they're watching to see what's going on around you but someone's in their emotions we got waves emotions worry fear somebody's doing this out of worry or fear or some sort of emotion that's going on here it's like maybe because they're fearsome of losing you they know that you're going to move on so now they're astral projecting to see what you got going on here what else with the astral projecting 
possibilities. I'm telling you, follow your dreams. Make up your mind, believe in yourself. Taurus, you have made up your mind to move on from something. You have, ma you have made up your mind to follow your dreams, to think of all the possibilities and things like that. So someone here is astro, uh, uh, astro projecting here because they're worried about you following your dreams. You may have made up your mind and you're believing in yourself and they don't want that here. This could be a clingy ex, someone who wants to keep you stuck in a continuous cycles of bad decisions and addictions here with the thrills and clingy. You know, someone who's unhappy here with the harmony in reverse. Like, somebody here got issues. <clears throat> Let me get some other cards. So, what else can you tell me about this astral projecting? Wow, man. Okay, I'm going to try to keep a level head, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to keep a level here, here and not get upset. All right, but we got strategy and death. Someone here got their emotions about you. Moving on from them because you may be following your dreams. You know, you're believing in yourself. You have made up your mind that you're unhappy in this situation and you're ready to move on. So they have decided to strategize a way to cause an ending for you. Take it how it resonates. Whether that ending is you losing your job so you would be stuck there with them or you not being able to hop on opportunity to move forward or not just, I don't know. Somebody here wanted it to stop. Someone here was astral projecting to see what possibilities you had coming for yourself because you're, I mean, coming, someone here was astral projecting to see what possibilities you have coming for you, what opportunities you have coming so that they can end it so that you would maybe give up and be like, oh, well, I guess I'll just stay where I'm at. You know, this ain't working now. You know, la, 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 la. Yeah, I'm telling you, curse, hate, catastrophe, misfortune. And then libation, like someone here may have been donating to like some sort of deity or something like that giving libations here to create a curse someone here could be very spiritually gifted like this could be someone who um is playing dumb to their spiritual gifts you feel me you know like this could be someone who's like religious but really you know they, they have a religious outlook but i mean you know out of appearance but on the inside they're like very very spiritual they know how to do things they know how to you know yeah you know this could be someone like that who's like in the closet with it not really revealing that they're able to do this but they just somehow always know what you got going on somehow you know what i'm saying like somebody's doing something really really weird and they're abusing their gift and i have a feeling it's not gonna work out well i'm telling disturbance in friendship someone here wanted to create a disturbance to your network to your networking to your connections to a team like you could be going out and making new friends like you might be like in this whole transformation towards where you're like you know what i need to get rid of the toxic people around me and find me some new friends so you could be out there like socializing meet new people you know networking with jobs you may start be starting your own business you know you're networking trying to find investors you know things like that somebody wanted to put their hand in the pot and create a disturbance so that you would not move on they didn't they wanted to stop your victory triumph i'm telling you somebody has been watching you in the 5d and they know and they may have if, if they, let me just say this if they're doing all this in the 5d watching you tours they have got to be watching your akashic records they i bet you somehow someone here may have tapped into someone's akashic records which is like your whole life well your soul's mission not even life's mission your soul's mission Someone may have dabbed into that to see what you got going on, found out what you got coming according to your soul contract, and decided to be karmic energy and try to drag into yourself no so that it can't be. Take it how it resonates here. But let me go on here. This is just, this is crazy. And maybe this is why someone's a tarot reader hater. Maybe because, I don't know, they're about to be found out <laughs> through a tarot reading that they were doing this foolishness. I don't know. Let me keep going here. Oh, man. Let's go to the RIP. Rest in peace. Let's see what that's about. Let's see what's the vibes on the rest in peace. So someone here may have passed about, I mean, passed away. My condolences, if so. I certainly don't want that for anybody. Knock on wood. Or, um, you know, someone here um, may have tried to cause an ending or lost a job or lost a position or something. What's the rest in peace? Or this is an ending of something here. Envy. Resentful. Competitive. Discontent. So this is somebody here who could be jealous. Someone could be envious of you, whatever, resentful. Someone could have been in a secret competition with you. But this is a very discontent energy, though, that's about to face an, end, an ending. Intimacy, mutual respect, unity, closeness. So this could be someone that you felt close to, that you may have been intimate with. 
someone that you felt like you have mutual respect for. So some, this could be someone also losing respect. Like this could be someone who's highly respected around your community or family, or whatever. And maybe this is going to be an ending that's because they're resentful and discontent. They're just being jealous of you and being, being funny. You know what I'm saying? Maybe now they're going to lose respect. What else? Maybe ain't nobody going to want to fool with them like that. Yeah, there we go. Bound I'm telling you. I just said it. Ain't nobody going to want to fool with them like that. Boundaries. Disrespectful. Enough is enough. Defend yourself. This is a highly disrespectful energy that you have had to draw a line in the sand with and say, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this crap no more. I'm not. Burn bridges. Lack of trust. Disloyal. Turn back on. This is somebody here that has burned bridges with you, Taurus. You're just like, I'm not fooling with this no more. I'm not. You know, someone here could be very envy. It could be just be jealous of you being you. It's not even that you're trying to like rub it in this person's face or anything like that. It's just that you're just deciding to better yourself and they just can't seem to understand it. Puzzled, confused, perplexed, conflicted, and then soulmate, twin flame, friendship, or romantic partner. This could be a soulmate, a twin flame that can be involved or someone you were romantic with. But there's a lot of chaos here, upheaval, disaster, downfall. So this could be a karmic soulmate. I don't know. And the contract's ending with them. So this is an ending. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Take it how it resonates here. But let me get some additional cards towards because this shit's wild. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me about the rest in peace? Well, there goes conflict. Yeah, this is a, this is a combative energy here. What's, what else with the rest in peace? This is someone who likes drama, arguments, you know? Accident, danger, caution, injury. Someone, I'm telling you. Someone here is going to face an ending, uh, an ending. They may be in danger at this time. Someone here may need to exhibit caution. I'm not trying to be foreboding. I'm not trying to be dark. I'm just being real with the cards, okay? This is why I use multiple cards because I want people to see that it's not just, you know, I mean, like, the cards confirm each other. You feel me? That way, you know, I want everyone to understand that. I'm not just making this up, you know, out of bs okay like for real someone could be in danger right now at this time or someone just needs to exhibit caution someone here was trying to create an accident or hurt somebody here with the injury on here too so this could just talk about it doesn't have to be that someone's facing it like an ending it could be that someone here was seeking to hurt you and now they're about to you know maybe someone's now setting boundaries with them take it how it resonates okay but being that this accident card here has a kid on a bike who seemed to have fallen over and hurt himself, someone here may have hurt themselves while they were on a scooter or, on a, or a bike or something like that. So be on the lookout and be careful, okay? Please be careful, all right? Please, please, please be careful. You know, pay attention to the roads, you know? What else here? You know, watch your kids. You know, if your kids ride bikes or scooters or something, skateboards, whatever, watch out for them. Um, and it's Taurus, loss, bereavement, sorrow, damage. Again, something, somebody for doing, somebody played around in the 5D in a way that they should not have ever, 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 ever done. Someone here has broke like so many spiritual laws, I feel, and, and they're about to suffer loss. But this is someone who is seeking to hurt you, Taurus. They wanted you to be hurt. They wanted you to suffer and sorrow and damage or, or suffer some kind of loss. Or they wanted you to be in bereavement. Um, now, the lost card, he's hugging his dog and he's crying in the rain. So, someone here may have lost a pet. My con Again, my condolences, knock on wood. I don't wish that for nobody. You know, I got my baby behind me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, somebody here may have done something really, you know, I don't know. What else? This could have been something in the past. Memory, remembrance, commemoration, reunion. So somebody tried to do something in the past and now they're about to receive an ending for it. Or someone could be one to re uh, can re could be one to reunite with somebody they lost because they hurt them from the past. Like this could be an ex coming in, like, yeah, you know, I know I hurt you, but you know, I don't know. Somebody's weird. Yeah, but somebody might, might need your help. A hey, mercy, charity, kindness. Someone could be calling. Someone could be calling upon you, Taurus, to ask for your help because they could be seeing you stable. Okay, stability, harmony, acceptance. Like they could see you har in harmony. You're balanced here, and they're having endings for what they try to do to you. Someone here just wanted you to just be down. You know, this is someone who's very disloyal. 
And they forced your hand here. They forced you to draw a line in the sand and say enough is enough. They've burned bridges with you. This could be someone that you were very, very close to who was just jealous and discontent. And in this ego-ass energy here, they just, they cause hurt. I mean, they this is self-inflicted harm. Self-inflicted damage. They did this to themselves. Okay. Let me go to didn't see this coming and they are scared. Oh, Taurus. Heavy, heavy, heavy energy. Yeah, I said self-inflicted. Isolation. Rejected, left alone, self-inflicted energy here. Someone feels isolated. They feel rejected now. They didn't see this coming. They feel like, don't know, ain't nobody fooling with them right now. Nobody's fooling with them. So whatever plan they had for you failed and it backfired on them. So now they're scared because now everything that they wanted for you is coming is coming for them. What else? This is self-inflicted. Hopeful, inspired, optimistic success. Somebody didn't see you in this hopeful energy towards. They did not know that you had that bounce back. You feel me? Yeah, you could take a you could what, what's the how's that saying go? Hold on, hold on. Let me think of it. Hold on. Hold on. You take a licking and you keep on ticking. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like a very, very old, like, I don't know. I think I might even heard that off a cartoon of my, one of my uncles or something. They said that when I was little. But I'm just saying, like, you know how to take hits and keep going. Like, it's not as though you don't stay down for a second. Like, when you get hurt, yeah, you take time out for yourself to heal yourself. But when you come out, you come out, like, as a, as a hard hitter. Like, you're ready to go. You know, it happened. Screw it. You over it. You know, you're very optimistic. You're successful energy here. They did not see that you would come out on top after they try to do this foolishness to you. Someone here was astral projecting here to keep somebody stuck and create endings for you by hurting you or i don't know someone here may have been throwing curses who knows but my point though is you made it out you jumped over these hurdles and you made it out here and now they're like oh crap i didn't know that taurus was gonna do all that i just thought they were just gonna you know just bow down and just accept what i wanted for them what else alliance trust honesty compatibility treasure abundance valuable enrichment justice baby equality neutrality logic Someone's confused. Look, there goes a confused car. Hold on. I'm trying to put these together for you. Okay, we got hesitation here. Decision. Conf Someone here is confused. They're confused how, you know, things are fair and balanced for you now with the justice card. Because you're you're getting your abundance, your treasure. You know, the things that you're supposed You're an honest individual. You're trustworthy. You know, it says uh, trust, honesty, compatibility, alliance. You know, because you're a good person, because you trusted yourself and in the most high and in your path, you're getting things are being balanced out for you. You're protected. But someone's confused how you're still getting this treasure. They're like, how are they getting this balance, this truth, this fairness here? Like someone here is like starting to see that the scales are tipping in your favor and they was not expecting that. Not at all. How are you? Someone's like, how are you? You know, OK, let me say this. OK. And I just realized this, too. Okay, the whole time I've had this deck and I've worn it out, I got to buy another one, okay? <laughs> in this car, like I said before, okay, he's holding a dog, he's crying, you know, it's rain, it's lost, right? In this car right here, this is you, Alliance, okay? He's got his dog, he's happy, you know, he's hugging and kissing him like I do on my Odin, you feel me? And everything's good. Someone is confused how they, someone here may have lost their baby and you have kept yours. But if they did some sort of magic for you to lose a pet and it backfired, this could be this could be part of that too. Someone may have aimed for something to happen to your pet and it backfired and hit their baby. Again, I'm not knock on wood. I don't wish it on nobody. I'm just saying somebody here may have been trying to throw some magic at somebody's dog or cat or something like that. And it may have bounced back and hit them. And they really got scared when they saw that you walking around with your baby, everything's good. And all of a sudden, their baby start getting sick. I really hate, and I and I don't like to use that term, but I will. I very very much dislike when people involve pets or you know innocent people in their mess. I really, I really, 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 I think it's the most irresponsible thing you can do. You know, your family's enough should be enough to keep you from wanting to throw magic or something like that. You know, but you'd be surprised what people would throw at people. I don't know why. 
for some reason people have this some not I'm, i won't say all people but people who dabble in like black magic or things like that they have this thing in their head where they feel like if it doesn't work that it just doesn't work it just goes away you know, like I, like if me throwing this, you know, card at the camera and hitting you in the face, you know, in the camera, you know, like that would be it. Like, oh, I missed. Oh, well, OK, I guess I just missed. They're not expecting for this card to fly back up and hit you right back in the face. They don't understand that part. They don't understand that if it does not work, that it does come back. It's got to go somewhere. It's a back to sender type deal. You feel me? I again. Take it how it resonates. This may not even have nothing to do with it. Your pet may very well be safe and good. Their pet's safe and good. I hope so. Because, I, you know, when it comes to the babies, I don't play. But I'm just saying, someone here, they are, they are feeling rejected because they see you having success. They're confused because you're getting justice. You know, things are working out for you. You know what I'm saying? You're getting treasure. You know, and they're on the other side, like having endings like a crate, like a mug. They don't understand it. Okay, I think now we need to get into some tarot. Okay, let's get into some tarot here. This is really, really just Taurus. I'm telling you, like, man, the stink on that is just ridiculous. It just, it just is. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the collective frequency for Taurus. Can you please give me some more backstory? What's going on here? Okay. Taurus. Let's see what's going on with this tarot reader hater, okay? Let me put this up here. Okay, Holy Spirit. What's going on here with this tarot reader hater? There we go. We got the death in reverse, okay? Scorpio energy. Uh, this could be someone who's resisting an ending or a personal transformation even, or just someone who um, is just in, in denial, about somebody and who they are someone here who resisted someone here is resisting change um what's the death reverse queen of wands reverse and then we got the two of cups here someone here may be resisting an ending a change or something like that Queen of Wands, that's Fire Sun Energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Someone here is very jealous, insecure. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse can be seen as like a hoe, as a prostitute, someone who's promiscuous, sleeps around, just looks good, ain't not got really nothing else going on besides that. You know what I'm saying? So this could be someone here who's like in this like energy where they want to be seen and they want to be looked at and they want to be seen as a Queen of Wands, but they're resisting change. Hold on. What else about the tell reader hater? Let me see what else I get. Okay, seven of wands in reverse. And then we got the seven of swords in the upright. Seven of wands in reverse talks about exhaustion, ready to give, ready to give up. Seven of swords in the upright is like someone being sneaky, betrayal, lying, deception, trickery. Give me one second here. Let me download this. This could be a queen of wands in reverse. This could be a feminine energy here, okay? Again, someone who who likes to look good, you know, they're in, but they're insecure, you know, they sleep around a lot to maybe, uh, I don't know, like come off as like the most desired person or something like that. Like somebody's weird. This is somebody though who um, is like out of balance. Someone who's very defensive. Somebody who's holding a secret too. Is it somebody who's like overwhelmed with like holding back some kind of secret or something? What's the seven of swords? What are they lying about? What are they hiding? Ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody here who, again, pre pretends like everything's okay. They're the happy energy, all this and that and other. You know, they got everything going on. But this is someone whose dreams have been shattered and broken because of the lies or manipulation or something that's been going on here. Or they're just an unhappy person. Someone feels like their dreams can't come true. Someone is hiding how un how unhappy they are. Hold on, let me get some more cards out. Ooh. There's another way to put this. Let me shuffle. Let's see what else can you tell me about Taurus and this tarot reader hater. 
someone's a unhappy ass energy here. They can't do it like you do. Ten of Swords. Someone facing an ending, a painful ending or a betrayal. I'm telling you, like somebody's hiding something here. Someone here could be a tarot reader hater towards because tarot readings could be airing them out. Or a tarot reader could be here uh, airing them out. Or you could be a tarot reader and you're airing them out or whatever. Or you could just see through their shit. Someone here is facing an ending here. This could be someone you were in a connection with with the lover's card. What's the Ten of Swords about? Someone here may have predicted an, a painful ending here. So now they're mad. The sun. Yeah, something's being brought to light. Leo energy with the sun. So you could be a tarot reader and you could be bringing a light. You could be bringing to light something that's happening with a painful ending or a betrayal or something like that. Or somewhere here just really, really dislikes the fact that no matter what kind of ending you go through, you, you're always ready for a new beginning here. Because with the Ten of Swords, it's an ending with a new beginning. And with the Sun, someone here could be very positive. And this could be someone who's hating on a tarot reader because they're very positive and they know how to come back, you know what I'm saying, from being taken down here. Yeah, this could be someone who's very invested. This could be you or your person here with the Seven of Pentacles. What else with the Ten of Swords and the Sun? Ooh. Or this could be, hold on. The moon. Damn, somebody's conf Okay, this could be confusion with the sun and moon together. That could be confusion. Pisces energy with the moon. Or somebody's hiding something. Or someone's got anxiety, some sort of fear. Something's going on here. Yeah, they got a lot of anxiety here. Nine of swords. Like, someone's stressed out, they can't sleep at night. Someone here knows that what they've done, someone here has, has, done, has betrayed somebody. They are mad at a tarot reader because they know it's about to be brought to light, and they want that to stay hidden, and they have a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration about this. And this could very well be another torture you're dealing with here with the Hierophant card or someone that's married, someone who's, like, religious, traditional here, who feels stuck with the chariot in reverse, cancer energy, who feels out of, I said out of balance, temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. You know what I'm saying? And then page of one's reverse. This is a shit starter energy here. Someone who creates conflict, bad news. Like, this is bad news. Someone here is, is maybe getting a reading done or maybe watching readings or something like that. And they may be hearing their business getting aired out and they are getting stressed the hell out about it. So now they could be at a point where they're like, I don't like town readers, you know, and they lie or, you know, you know, this, that, and the other because they're getting aired out. Yeah, I'm, there it goes again. Page of Wands reverse. Bad news. Someone here is, is, is stressed the hell out towards because they're receiving bad news through a tarot reading. Like, you may be, they know that you're going to see this or you could be a reader and this could be coming out of your readings. Like, they know they're about to be found out here. Yes, indeed. What else? Got the King of Pentacles, more Taurus energy. Okay, and the Ace of Cups. What's the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups? Someone here could be stressed out and angry, upset because they're receiving some unpleasant news about you being financially stable, generous, wealthy, and um, and this is like an outpour. I mean, you have like a outpouring of love and support. Like, someone here is mad because not only because of readings that may be airing them out in their dirty laundry, but also because it indicates that you're winning something here. That you're about to be stable, financially secure, and you're about to have a love, like a new love, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, something's working out for you because you've had a, you've put in a lot of hard work here with the Seven of Pentacles. Even when things look bleak with the star in reverse, you know what I'm saying? You remain balanced and fair with the Justice card, Libra energy, Aquarius energy with the star in reverse. Like, someone knows, someone here hates tarot readers or hates a tarot reader because they have predicted you know their downfall or something or something coming to light about what they've been trying to keep hidden and they're freaking out because this is bad news and they or they're freaking out because it's about to predict that somebody here was trying to start shit for a king of pentacles here or someone who was on their way to being financially stable and wealthy and independent here and being a provider and they know what they got coming for them so someone here could have been astral projecting or watching readings. Second, how it resonate here. But somebody here was either astral projecting or using readings here to plot on somebody. Or someone here may have been astral projecting to plot on somebody and maybe tarot readings are airing them out and they are not happy about it. Okay. Um, 
Let's go to he or she is always comparing you to their ex. Arg conflicts and arguments. Okay, let's see what that's about. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands in reverse again. Okay. Um, again, somebody who's promiscuous, you know, insecure, jealous, just looks good, sleeps around. Someone, you know, got a lot of issues here. Um, so this could be an X energy here, a Queen of Wands in reverse. Or this could be someone that's about to be an ex that's facing a tower here, the tower. <laughs> this could be someone you got kids with. Got the Page of Cups here. Hold on, Knight of Wands is in reverse. Someone here has lost their, yeah, someone here has lost their drive here. Knight of Wands in reverse, and then we got the Sad Squirrel here. Sad Squirrel um, is just a card that comes with this deck it just means someone who's just not happy <laughs> someone who, do, who, do, who doesn't want to share you know they're in a pissy mood you know something like that so he is unhappy he's a sad squirrel okay <laughs> so someone here could be like losing their motivation to deal with this person here like this could be someone this could be one of the reasons why you're leaving somebody behind this could be this this energy here that uh this ex that you know you're just like man i have you are having like a sudden revelation and realizing like i'm not happy with this person they're always comparing me to their ex there's always conflicts and arguments with them i've lost motivation i'm frustrated i'm ready to move on here i'm not happy like somebody's not happy here what else so this could be just somebody who's just like they're always excuse my language but always bitching they're always nagging Okay, we got the nine of pinnacles here with the temperance. It's your time to shine. You're a rock star with it. You know, it is your time to shine here. You know, this is like balance, harmony, healing, you know, things working out for you with the temperance card. And the nine of pinnacles is you enjoying the fruits of your labor here. You know what I'm saying? So this is you wanting to find balance, wanting you to have harmony and get away from this toxic energy here so that you can have happiness and then finally enjoy life and, you know, and look good at that. You know what I'm saying? This could be well, this uh, five and one. This is someone who likes to start fights and keep fights going, conflicts, competition. Like someone here just likes to keep. They, they don't want. They don't like the fact that you're moving on. They want you to stay focused on the drama. What else? A gossiping ass energy here. I said a shit starter. Page of Swords in reverse. Someone here could be manipulating things. I'll talk. Um, a deceptive energy here. What's the page of swords in reverse? Strength. And then we got the six of wands. Strength is Leo energy. Six of wands indicates victory or public recognition over something. So something could be coming to light through gossip. Hold on. What's the six of wands and the strength with the page of swords? Three. Things are progressing. For someone's hearing gossip or rumors that, that somebody's moved, that somebody's ships are coming in with the three of wands. Like someone's opportunities are coming in here, you know, and someone is using their strength, you know what I'm saying, their focus, their passion to move forward. And someone is not happy with that at all. Someone feels deceived by the fact that you're moving on from them. And that you're having this victory, this public recognition here. Somebody's a weirdo. All right. Let me go to uh, make fun of how you dress, but was seen the next day wearing the same stuff. Jocking your style, secret fan. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. <laughs> and then the fool in reverse. <laughs> Taurus. Um, the hermit in reverse is like someone who misleads people or someone lost, isolated, like they don't know what's going, they don't know what they're doing. They could, you know, someone here <laughs> could be wearing your stuff. I'm not wearing your stuff, but they could be wearing or, or, you know, styling their hair or dressing similar to you and they can't do it like you. The full reverse, they look like a fucking fool. Full reverse is like bad choices, risk taking, um, bad decisions, you know, like somebody's doing something reckless here. Somebody looks like a whole fool out here, jocking your style and at the same time trying to make fun of how you dress. So, yeah, someone, I'm telling, hold on, what else? J 
judgment. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, okay. This may have something to do with a with an empress energy, okay? We got Libra Taurus energy too with the Empress, okay? And then we got judgment. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me this could be a feminine energy here that's facing judgment by a lot of people because they're like hold on what didn't you just tell us that they look stupid or they shouldn't be doing that or this that, and the other and they're just like sitting there trying to look cute and now people are just like okay now we see what's going on here you're jealous like someone's having an awakening and they're understanding that somebody here just wants to look like the empress but they look foolish here and they are very much confused and don't know what's going on here Seven of Swords in reverse, like someone here in the lovers reverse, like someone's deceptives or tricky ways or whatever. Like someone here may have been like dressed in a certain type of way to to try to come off as an empress here. Their lies are coming out with the Seven and uh, Seven of Swords in reverse, and then the lovers in reverse. They're they're being rejected. They're being broken up with, or something here. Like somebody is like seeing somebody, like trying to mimic somebody. And they're just like, dude, you like a fool. You can never be the empress. Not well, I ain't gonna say never, but you know, you honey, you are nowhere near the empress at this point. You feel me? Like, yeah. Someone's weird. Alright, let me go to loyalty. Let me see what's going on with loyalty. Okay, we got the chariot and the ten of cups. Now the ten of cups kind of came out in reverse. Now, the chariot talks about, with cancer energy, it talks about overcoming obstacles and challenges here. So, someone here is in a loyal, determined energy here to overcome any obstacles when it comes to getting to their ten of cups. So, whether this ten of cups is like a dreams come true, total love and support, you know, f emotional fulfillment, love, family, all that jazz. Like, somebody here is determined, they are loyal to have this ten of cups. I mean, they're determined to have it. Okay, we got the five of pentacles here which could talk about homelessness or a lack of mindset or someone feeling out in the cold and then we got the hierophant here taurus energy an institution or uh marriage traditions wisdom trust a lesson someone here is overcoming challenges here that were keeping them from finding their emotional fulfillment here these challenges included like being in a lack of mindset here or you know Someone here didn't someone here doesn't know who to trust or didn't know who to trust. Or someone is aiming to be a more trustworthy person. Hold on. What's the loyalty? What else with loyalty? Six of Swords in reverse, and then we got the Ace of Swords upright. Six of Swords in reverse talks about someone who has emotional baggage or unfinished business. And then the Ace of Swords is here, which means someone's having a mental breakthrough, some sort of clarity here. The truth is coming out. So someone here, again, is overcoming challenges here that have been keeping them stuck. And this may have a lot to do with a lack mindset when it came to religion or something like that or a tradition. Um, this could be family, you know, a lesson here. And they felt but someone here has unfinished business or they had emotional baggage now. And now they're more dedicated to their path. So someone here is showing loyalty when it comes to having this Ten of Cups with you or just coming out of this situation. Like somebody in this situation, Taurus, is just determined they are not going to let this down. They're not going to they're not going to let this BS keep them down. Someone here had unfinished business that was keeping them stuck, unable to move forward into their Ten of Cups, and now they're understanding what it is, and now they're ready to move on from it. And they're ready, and they are just loyal to their mission, to their cause here. Faye, who is here, which is Wealth, Luck, New Beginnings. Let's see what that's about. Six of Pentacles. That's a gift giving card, charity, generosity, equal give and take relationships. So someone, I mean, you're you're gonna hit the jackpot here. You're about to be maybe gifted something. Let me shuffle. All right, what's the six of pentacles about? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's about to be financially independent. 
that's Capricorn energy with the Queen of Pentacles. But yeah, someone here is most definitely about to be financially stable, um, financially independent, a nurturing, reliable energy here. You know, or someone here is about to be put in a position of wealth so that they can be charitable to those less fortunate. You know, nurturing kind of energy here. You may be thinking about starting a charity or like some sort of cause here to help those, you know, less fortunate, like a homeless charity or something like that. Yeah, uh, two of wands. Like someone here is ma is making progress on their path. You know, opportunities are lining up for them. They're making plans here and things are looking good. What else? Death is came, the death came out in reverse. Someone here may have had a resistance to change. What's a death reverse? Scorpio energy. Over a lot. Seven of swords. Here we go. Someone here may have had an issue like or hesitating changing or letting something go because of some sort of lie deception that happened here. Someone here is being rewarded for getting through this. What's the seven of swords about? shuffle someone's got their mouth shut about something because he's got shh like up to his mouth <laughs> what's the seven of swords somebody doesn't want something to come there we go magician reverse somebody doesn't want this sort of uh some sort of manipulation to come out some sort of narcissism Somebody may have been secretly manipulated into like resisting change and now the progress is being made. Now they're making plans. They know what they want to do and they're making, you know, they're, they're pro progressing towards it. And this is going to lead them to financial independence and prosperity here. The emperor, like someone's about to sit on their throne. This is authority, a father figure, protection, you know, practicality, like, you know, like, um, yeah. Someone's about to be in a position of power. You know, not in an abusive way either. I mean, like someone is being put in a position to help those less fortunate. Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone here may have had a lack of inner joy, things like that, because of a broken relationship with the Two of Cups. And maybe this broken relationship involved a dark high priestess with the high priestess in reverse or someone who had a hidden agenda or some sort of secret here. Again, that was keeping somebody stuck with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. So, you know, this is, again, a reward for someone coming out on top after surviving a really chaotic situation here and you know having your heart open and helping those around you or just moving forward you know all right let me see who can't stop thinking about you taurus uh we got the page of pentacles okay so someone could be thinking about offering you something or or coming towards you what's the page of pentacles with the four of pentacles somewhere here maybe okay i see what's going on here with the ten of pentacles here and then the page of cups hold on and then okay i'll stop here okay the page of pentacles is like manifestation skills desire things like that somebody is desiring to build stability they want to have control of their life and their finances everything else they want to create a healthy abundant wealthy stable home with the ten of pentacles maybe even a family with you okay someone here may want to have children with you with the page of cups or someone here wants to um maybe communicate how they feel or something like that or someone wants to give you a happy surprise Someone here may be thinking about like build, um, stacking coins and and like building a family uh, legacy or something so that um, they so that you guys can have children. What else? Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Wands reverse. Somebody may be uh, walking away from a toxic group of people or something that wasn't working out. Maybe even a job. You know what I'm saying? Like because it was really burdensome then to them. Ten of Wands in reverse. Or someone here could be leaving them behind just a group of people. It doesn't have to be a job, like a group of people. What else to come towards you? Then I get you some advice. Yeah, seven of wands in reverse and then seven of cups in reverse. This uh, group of people or whatever may have been like really confusing. Somebody spinning illusions here, you know, to knock someone off balance. Someone was really exhausted dealing with this energy here. So they decided to walk away. Eight of cups. Too much fighting. Too much shit going on. Five of wands. Too much competition fighting. Eight of swords in reverse. Somebody decided to free themselves and achieve a milestone here. Eight of swords in reverse is like releasing negative mindset. Releasing yourself from that victim mentality here. And now someone's reached a milestone here because they're healing. Three of swords in reverse. That's another healing card. 
Someone here has decided, you know, you, I can't stop thinking about you. I've gotten out of this situation that had me stuck for a minute. And now my, my mind, someone's mind is on the prize. Someone's mind is on the almighty coin because they want to build something very stable, you know, so, so that you guys can build something beautiful on top of it. I can't make it up. Someone here is healing the lovers and in the world, Gemini energy. And then, oh my God, hold on. The Ace of Pentacles is behind that. Hold on. Yeah. Someone here is working on manifesting a new golden abundant beginning here. Uh, so, something that is like someone is completing a chapter here and they want to go into another one. A, no, a happy one here. Like I'm telling you, like the lovers also indicates a big decision that needs to be made. You know what I'm saying? But someone here is recovering from heartbreak and they're ready to come into union with like maybe a soulmate or twin flame here. You know, with the world card here, you know, it's this comp successful completion of a chapter, arriving, travel, Ace of Pentacles is like a new opportunity here. So someone here may be traveling to take advantage of a new abundant beginning or opportunity or something like that. But yeah, abundance is coming. Someone's about to hit like a, like a magic ticket. I mean, like a lottery, a winning lottery ticket or something here. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Taurus, let me get you some advice. Okay. I'll leave those out. I just need one more. Please, for Taurus, in this situation. Or maybe two more. Okay. Okay, that's just too many now. Give me one more. The way that slid out, okay, baby. <laughs> okay, Taurus. So, it says, have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay, yet you still must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. So Spirit is calling on you to have faith right now, okay? Things may seem dire, but it's all going to work out and you're going to be rewarded. It's even here in the cards. Okay, focus. You're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and toward what is. Paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards creating an amazing life. Okay, so you may be right now focusing on a situation that didn't work out, maybe because you're just in that mindset of just trying to fix things. But Spirit is saying, okay, let spirit let the universe worry about that shift your focus towards what is working for you you know whether this is you just turning attention to yourself your health you know your money you know your plans whatever you know what i'm saying just shift your focus for a minute you know or family you know um pay attention you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed these signs will help you see how fast to move forward best these signs will help you to see how to best move forward in order to live your best life so spirit is calling you to pay attention, okay, from the signs of the universe, okay? Detach. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. Here we go. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. Control is, I can't even get it out. Control is an illusion, okay? You have to surrender it, okay? So again, you know, have faith in the process here, you know, shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is, okay? And pay attention from signs for the universe, I mean, for signs from the universe. Okay, Taurus, I'm gonna get you um, Hip Hop Queen's Oracle for your takeaway advice. Okay, Tor. So, all right, we got Eve, Eve, Eve. She's a Scorpio, by the way. Her word means, I mean, her word, her card means change. Okay, so let's read up on that. Okay, her key words are transformation, new beginnings, travel, movement, and reinvention. Whether you are constantly in a state of flux or have total aversion to the mere thought of change, Eve's card suggests it's time for something new. It may be time to reprogram and blow your own mind a bit. Move forward with confidence in whatever endeavor you're seeking out. Taking a huge risk or deciding to commit to something major. Eve is here to tell you now is the moment for making those leaps and bounds. Take a deep breath and jump. Shake your tambourine while you're at it. 
So this is a new beginning for you. I just said that, you know, you could be transformation. You could be traveling. Things are moving, you know. So, you know, spirit is just telling you to move forward in confidence in whatever it is that you want to do. Okay. So whatever, it, you know, like the path laid out before you is, you know, it's, it's up to you. You're in control of it. So, you know, you have a bunch of new beginnings, but in any way, shape or form, you want them, you know, just choose a path. Okay. All right. So Taurus, I'm going to end your reading there. <laughs> I really hope that resonated for you. If so, please hit the thumbs up and let your girl know, okay? And please continue to leave your comments because I love reading them and I love responding to them, okay? I also wanted to mention that I have a playlist available for all the signs, so please check those out. You know, there could be a message or two in there for you that may resonate, you know? Um, I'm going to get out of here and into the next reading. God bless you guys. I love you, and I'm going to see you later, okay? Bye.